Hello, this is the Gang Space, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Today, we will be looking at a particular rocket design that I have made. Well, this, as you can tell by the title of this video, is the cheapest way to get in the low carbon orbit using a rocket. And here it is. All, all only on the, only 4,547 funds. Well, it would be a little less if I didn't have the mech jet module. It would probably be like more like 3,800, but... The trick to this is that this is all using solid fuel, and as you know in the stock game, solids are really cheap. Like the like if we go here, this is only three hundred twenty five funds. One while if you go and get a fuel tank, that's like eight fifty, and the engine itself is like nine hundred. So there, so that adds a lot of of the priciness to it. But and also um. Well, it doesn't really achieve a perfect orbit, but it does the job. So, let's launch this. I mean, I'm using mech jub just because, I mean, with solid fuel, it's kind of hard to, you know, get in orbit because, ye, I mean, they you can't turn them off, and they have a constant thrust, because, so it's, like, hard not to just screw up and have an elliptical orbit. So, let's... What I found to work is, um, I turn it to 250 kilometers because, um, since the rocket on this stage always keeps firing, um, it'll always, um, it'll go more horizontal than vertical because the way Mech Jeb does it is it goes to a height, like it burns until its apoapsis at height, then it cuts off, and then it waits till it's the apoapsis, and then it burns again. The way I do this is that I create more, more, um, time for that to go to, to the apple apps therefore there'll be less time that i have to burn at the apple apps and uh it seems to work pretty well instead of having an apple apps of intended 250 kilometers it's only about it, i mean it's 270 kilometers so it's not much off so we'll, let's launch this guy into a low curb in orbit in three two one launch and i, I see you thinking that with most of these solids um, that they would just produce re-entry effects, but the thrust limiter has really helped with this. I mean, let's try to go, let's go to double time warp. I let's hope that this doesn't, like, crash, like, like, and go all over the place. Because, it, I mean, this is a small rocket, and, but the trick with this is that, you see how these side engines are here? When they cut out, I will not decouple, because I did not produce, I did not have any sort of decoupler on those to save funds. Because it would probably be another 800 funds. Oh, here we go. And then ignite the second stage. And we'll, you can see right there, like, I'll, we're already at 2 Gs right now of acceleration. And uh, let's look at our, our um, see how it goes. It's, with most of these solid launches, you go, like, more straight up. But I've made it in such a way that it goes horizontal like you would in an orbit. And, uh, so let's keep firing this until it cuts off. Uh, cut off in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, now cut off. And this is where the Sepatrons come in. These Sepatrons will circularize this orbit. Hopefully. And then now, to reduce mass, we, um, separate this the stage, and, uh, wait for Mech Jeb to do its thing, um, let me see if I have Auto Warp on, yes I do, uh, let us do this, funny, how it doesn't, what's going, oh, I see, I'm just gonna go to the smart ASS and I'm gonna go prograde. And the way I'm gonna do it is when that prograde reaches zero to zero, I will have known that we'll reach the apoapsis. So just wait till we get to about 180 kilometers. And that is about right now. So let's engage our first stage of Sepatrons. See how much that weighs the orbit by? Nope. Now the second. Nope. 
Let's wait. Oh, and then I have to do this again. Well, see, I mean, it's not the perfect orbit, but like, you could get you could get the job done with science and all that. I mean, the big advantage is that it doesn't really cost that many funds. Like, fu I mean, this would be good for like hardcore KSP, and so. Let's just wait for him to be recovered, and uh, let's go to ret retrograde, um, not node, surface, surface velocity minus, though, make sure I go the right direction with the parachutes and everything. And just for the fun of it, let's just watch it re-enter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it might be a little tedious, but whatever. Hmm. I think we'll re-enter back on this one, but I'm not too sure. Um, but anyways, it, I'm going to be doing an entire series on this one. Like, not just a low curb in orbit. I'm going to do a cheap cheap one to the moon. Um, maybe, I mean, to Minmus. And then um, to Duna. Those, those will be actually pretty hard. I mean, because... I mean, trying to do that with all solids, I mean, because you have to have precision, like, burns and everything. I mean, that's kind of, like, a tough order. But I'm sure it can be achieved. You know, you and keep in mind that this is all using stock parts. I won't use any parts from mods and all that, because I want to make sure you guys can do this, too. Because that, 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 to me, isn't really important. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's going to go down. Um... But let's watch for the entry effects, right? Uh, we're not getting any surprising. Well, not su surprisingly, I think they come at like thirty-two. Well, I don't think they're coming now because I don't think I think our trajectory is way too. Sh oh, here they go. Yeah, I was gonna say our trajectory was way too shallow for us to get re-entry effects because I mean, you you're slowing. You're not slowing down all at once. You're slowing down over time, and I mean. Technically, you could say this is not complete, uh, completely in orbit, but, I mean, it does the job. Like, I mean, I think with the science reports, you have to be at, like, 80 kilometers, and that kind of satisfies that, so, uh, let's just watch this go down, and, hmm, I'm just waiting for this to go down, I'm the, Oh, I thought I'd, I I would have the main sheet deployment too. Um, this will go like this is the agonizing part of this, like waiting for these to go down. But anyways, I'm the gaming space.